Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. What is it fundamentally uh, that is the ground of all existence that would therefore provide you with a basis to invoke what is, can be, and cannot be? What would that be? Okay, well, I, I personally don't think that I need to have a grounding of... That's not an answer to my question. Well, okay. I'm trying to answer... Is there um, something that is identifiable and defensible that institutes and secures any state of affairs that is, can be, or cannot be? Is there something that is identifiable? I, I don't understand the question. Okay. In the Christian worldview, we say that God, through his self-disclosure, is identifiable and defensible as to all instances of what is, can be, and cannot be, okay? Since everything is rooted in the mind, the purpose, and the plan of God. Since you believe that the God world does not have any explanatory power, and therefore it doesn't fulfill your criterion, you must believe that the not God world does have explanatory power. Now, at the root of the not God world, do you have anything that is identifiable, right? that therefore uh, has explanatory power as to what is, can be, and cannot be? What dictates what is, can be, and cannot be? Well, I'm saying that the God world and God, that God statement. Sir, is sir, not, that's not, not an answer. Look, stop, even, stop, yeah, stop, like four words. stop. Do you know what stop means if you're an educated man? Now, I'm, I'm stopping you. you. The okay, listen to me. You, I'm interrupting you because you're not answering the question. Well, you don't, you I didn't ask you to give I me said. a commentary. You know what? You are being rude not. now. The reason why I interrupted you is because you were doing precisely what I, I didn't ask answer. you. I Okay. What was the question that I asked you? Well, you asked me about the explanatory power related to the God world, and you were making no, a sir. reference to the non-God no, world. No, sir. No, sir. Well, then why don't you say it in a okay, succinct okay. manner? See, being an educated man, you have no well, excuse for why poor are you listening all skills. Upset? Like, hey, man, because you you're upset. acting like a jerk. Uh, this is what you atheists do. The moment you're, you're showing, asked to, okay, hey, you're listen your to colors. me. No, I'm not. I'm not being a jerk. I'm indignant you with your sleaziness. Now we're listen gonna try to this again. Why are we're you gonna try triggered? this again? You're getting. Triggered. I'm getting angry because you're a jerk. Well, stop getting now, so triggered. Now we're have gonna a try this again. We're gonna try yeah. this again. I'll yeah. ask the question. I don't want to hear you're a gonna dodge let me out of your mouth. Okay. Well, you're now listen. When you talk, okay, I'm gonna mute your microphone, sir. Okay, there we go. Your mic is muted. Now, I'll repeat the question that you were dodging. Okay, now, I want to know what it is that is fundamental in your not God world that institutes and secures anything that is anything that you claim is can be or cannot be. I want to know what is the fundamental basis of any assertion as to what is can be or cannot be? What is that? You can unmute your mic and answer that question. What is, so let me just repeat your question then so I understand. What is the fundamental aspect in the not God world that grounds my understanding of the world? Is that no. correct? No. What is it that is fundamental and foundational to all states of affairs in your yeah. not God world yeah. that institutes and secures any instance of what is, can be, and cannot be? What is it? I don't think I need that. I don't know what I don't. I, I didn't that. ask you I'm what a, you. I, I okay, your okay. No, no, sir. No, sir. You know I what? Said I said I don't know. Keep, listen to me. Okay, now that's an answer. So you have I was saying nothing. That you that, that, okay, me. listen to me. Don't over talk me. Don't over talk me. So is it clear? Are we clear that you have nothing that is identifiable, that is the basis of what institutes and secures? Any instance of what is, can be, and cannot be. I mean, I use my reason. Are you going to, don't interrupt me. Just give me like 20 seconds. I will interrupt you if you don't answer the question. Well, if you, if you can't even listen to what I'm saying, how do you know if I'm answering the question? Because I can hear right out of the gate you're not answering the question. So you can read my and mind. Is it correct? Am I correct that you do not have anything identifiable that you can point to that institutes any instance of what is, can be, and cannot be. 
Well, I use my reason and rationality to evaluate the world. If, if uh, that's not an answer that. to my question. Well, you ask me what specifically. Okay, again, I, for a minute, for, for a you're person not, well, who claims hey, to be a climate scientist, who, you know what? You I'm going to I'm gonna kick talk. your sorry rear end out of here because uh, you're, you're rude you and you're evasive. Now, listen carefully. You didn't answer the question again. You have a history of prevaricating. You're, just, you're a classic Look, do clown. I, okay, now, no, I'm not a clown. You I'm are. very assertive when people like you are being no, jerks. You're just now, I'll ask you again. Ask. What was the last question I asked you? You asked me what is the the foundation of in the God world that I can use to point to how no, I know sir. anything about no, the world? Sir. Oh, so no, sir. No, sir. Just because no, I can't sir. repeat exactly what you said doesn't no, mean I don't sir. understand. You're the not even close. You're not, You're not even, even close. close. This is this is the second or third time you completely missed the target by a mile. I said, is it true? Yeah. Okay. Is it true and correct that you do not have anything identifiable that institutes any instance of what is, can be, or cannot be? I said, is that true in your position? No, it's not true. Okay. What then is it that is fundamental and foundational? that institutes any instance of what is, can be, and cannot be? My rationality and reason. Okay. You didn't understand the question. Now, well, you say I you're an your question. You did answer it, but that doesn't, that doesn't answer. Why, it was why a is my answer not? I will explain it to you. Well, then okay? go ahead and do that. Now, I ask you, what is it that is fundamental and foundational to all states of affairs? Does your mind and reason institute and secure every instance of what is, can be, or cannot be? Well, it's how I used to evaluate the world. Okay. Wow. Do you have, what is, what is your level of education? Is it a PhD? Why are you asking? Because I want to see what your level of education is because your ability your to level? listen. Well, okay. Okay. My I don't get, I don't delve into my person. I don't delve into my personal life. Mine? Now, like, why? Because you have it on your profile and you yourself have verbally uh, stated that you're an educated man. Well, if you're you the one wearing that. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Listen to me. Listen to me. To listen, listen, listen to me. Go ahead. You have horrendously poor listening skills. No, you you now, over talk constantly. Okay. Listen to me carefully. I over talk. When it is crystal clear to me that when I ask a straightforward, circumspect question, and the response is filibustering. Oh, you now, just said, you were just saying about how oh, Tangela was wasn't filibustering. Now, but I'm a filibustering when I say four. Yeah, words. it was a filibuster because what oh, came out of your mouth was not germane to my question. Now, I will ask you a very simple question: Is your human cognition and reason the basis? of why any state of affairs is, can be, or cannot be? No. You've okay. now contra you have okay, now contradicted fine. I, yourself. I contradicted myself. Fine. Okay. Good. So, no, so no. I'll repeat. I will repeat the question again. Do you have something that is identifiable and defensible in your not-God world for the purposes of explanatory power that institutes and secures any instance of what is can be or cannot be. That's a, such a long-winded, uh, a difficult. It's a very question. precise question. It's not a precise question. It's yes, a very it is. convoluted. Is there question. something that can is you, can you boil it down listen very carefully? Hey, listen. Boil it down basically. You, you, listen, listen to me. What you like to do is bicker like a teenager when you're presented with a thoughtful, circumspect question, oh, and then oh, complain oh, about the question. Now, look, is there oh, anything? Listen like to me very carefully. Is there anything in your not God world for the purposes of establishing explanatory power? Is there anything that is metaphysically or ontologically foundational that institutes any instance of what is? I don't know. I don't know what the answer okay. is. I don't know the answer. Okay, so the answer is so the answer is you do not have anything identifiable that dictates do, why so can events? I ask, can I ask may I finish? Me? Listen to me. But you've been asking don't me over talk. Can I, don't can I don't I over talk me. Don't over questions. talk me. What? Don't I, over talk me. This over is just talk a, me. I will talk. I, you can. I, I will really let care. you. 
I will let you talk. I will let you ask questions, but I am getting tired of your childish antics. Now, you're now, the one being childish. Okay, listen, listen. To, wow, dude. Listen to the recording listen, of the show no, when it goes up to, to YouTube. Yourself. You are being okay. very rude. Okay. Uh, Jason, As a Christian, you, you're, being you're, very rude. You're, you're welcome is just about worn out. You're on very thin ice right now. Okay. I don't now, care. I, I don't now care. what you are doing right now is you are bickering. For the no, purposes, okay. Please do not talk while I'm talking. Okay? Yeah, exactly. What you are doing right now is classically what unbelievers do, in my experience, is to resort to bickering like children at the cafeteria table when somebody's asking a precise question that you are. It's not a precise with. question. Now, now it is a precise question. It's not. Do you, listen carefully. So it's not precise to say, do you have an ontological primary? Is that your question? Do I have an ontological primary? Yeah. Do you have one? No, I don't. Okay. So then that means that you have no explanatory power for Not why true. event. Okay. Listen to me carefully. Do you know what an ontological primary is? Yes, I do. What is it? It's a, a primary aspect of something that I know is true. true no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Ontological primary, and I also refer to it uh, uh, synonymously as a metaphysical primary. Ontological primary is what we would also call the ground of all existence. Okay. okay. Now, do you have something that is identifiable and defensible that dictates any instance of what happens? Do I do I have anything that dictates that is primary, that is that, that, dictates that is everything metaphysically that and ontologically at a worldview scale that dictates foundationally as to why all events happen? No, I don't. OK, so your worldview in terms of its epicenter or 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 foundation has no explanatory power as to why events happen then, do you? I don't think so. And I can okay. explain why. So, so guess guess what? So you don't have explanatory well, power. Listen, well, let me finish. Let, why don't you listen and learn? I'm, I'm listening. Okay, Give goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, you are done. Good. And you're going to be bounced in the room. You, you sir, um, have the mentality of a teenage ADD child who doesn't take his Ritalin. Okay? And you call yourself an educated man. And that okay. is educated. <laughs> that is not it. That is not an educated man. Okay, that that's what we saw a teenager trapped in an adult body. Now, he just got hosed. He just got eviscerated. Did you catch that, Tom Rabbit? Hope you upload that to YouTube.